today, I'd like you to add Grammarly to your Chrome extensions and then use Grammarly to help you edit and revise your entire narrative. So right now, I have a rough draft open on my screen and on another tab, I have the link to Grammarly that's in Google Classroom. You can also just Google search Grammarly. Once you're on this page, add to Chrome. It's free. It'll likely take you to your web store where you'll have to hit add again and agree to add the extension. You may have to put in your password. Once it's added, you can close out this little alert and you'll see up here where it says beta, behind that is a little green G. That shows that Grammarly is active. Down here, there's a little red seven. That means that Grammarly has seven pieces of feedback for me. Whatever your number is, if it's one or 253, I want you to address everything Grammarly suggests to you. So you click on that red number and then says, look, everything we think you should change has a red underline. Go hover and click. So I'll start at the top. Let me stay at home. When I hover, it says remove this space. If I just click where it's green and say, yes, that's a good idea, Grammarly does that for me. Next one, myself at, stay home by myself at first. Yes, I believe it should have just been a space there, two words. Here I have a choice. Whatever is green is what Grammarly will change your document to. So you are still in charge of choosing what is correct, but it shows you correct options. Whatever I change the capitalization, absolutely. At first, comma, I hid in my room. Plastic is spelled wrong. Finally, comma, and then replace the punctuation. Okay. If that is done and you feel like I have more time, you can also go back to your Chrome extensions, search the short store for language tool. It looks like this blue one with the little squiggle underneath it. You can add that as well. Go back to your rough draft. And to access this one, because right now you've got a green G, which means Grammarly says, looking good, you can go to your add-ons Go to language tool, check full document, and right here it's going to give you some more ideas to make your paper stronger. So I want you to run the Grammarly check absolutely required. That's going to help with spelling, punctuation, grammar marks. Language tool, if you have time, is going to help you add some more variety. This sentence does not start with an uppercase letter. You would switch it. Possible typo over. They never, you repeated a white space. So you just keep going through and decide which is the correct move and what do you think about all of their ideas. So Grammarly required language tool will make your paper stronger, which will in the end probably help you get a better score.